Welcome back, 0K fans, to Nanalee the Dunn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another Kane and Google Frog match. This is actually played before the one I just did, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So, yeah. Just for the record, this was actually played first, and then the match on Red Comet that I just cast was played after. So we're going a bit backwards. But it should be fine. Anyway, this is Isle of Grief. It is an island. There is much water. There's also that weird engine thing where the map sort of ends. I think that's because I'm not using map extension on islands, but map extension looks terrible on islands, so... I don't know. Anyway. This is a map that I think is based off of something StarCraft-y. I and mean, it has that ramp... It, actually... I almost remember the name of it offhand. I, I've, I've not played Starker 2 in like five years, so I actually don't know offhand. I feel like I, I feel like I have played this map in StarCraft, but anyway, the point is this map is fairly like a lot of concentrated resources, a lot of choke points. Spiders work remarkably well here. We see actually Kane is going for not Kane. Google Frog is going for jump bots, which is also a good idea. I played this once. I went spiders, and my opponent was Cloaky, and that was actually a weird game. Spiders, you'd think are okay, but at the same time, they're kind of slow. Jump bots, I think, would be more viable. But yeah, the way this map is laid out, expanding anywhere just feels like overextending. You don't have any safe expansions, really, it feels like. Google Frog starting out with... Uh, starting with Freaker, because at this distance, your opponent's probably not going to rush you very effectively. Like, they might be able to get in, but it's like, you have to go all the way around here, and then around here, and then up here, and then here. That is it. Actually, I'll Put the line up a little longer so that you can appreciate just how long that is. That is the rush distance of this map. Yeah. It's pretty long. Although air rush distance is tiny. I'm a little surprised neither player went for gunships or air. Because that's the, that on this map would be degenerate almost. And especially with gunship, I mean... Sorry, punch up with pyro. With jump jet plant in general, but pyro in particular. They could just come in because pyros are quite quick. They could just jump over and I think... Hmm, I can't really see if... I think there might be some spots where they could actually jump from here. Okay, they can't get on the side here, so... If they could jump from where they are somewhere here onto this side, onto this area of the map, that would be extremely handy. You get a lot of good rushes going with that. If we go... Oh, I can't... Right, what am I thinking? <laughs> I can't do that because I'm not controlling the pyro. Unfortunately, can't Google Frog built that second, so Kane's gonna have a little bit of a harder time with this. Kane, on the other hand, getting with the wind gens, getting with their slashers. Once again, kind of surprising given the rush distance. I mean, this map does not have much of a rush distance to it, so I find it a little bit odd. But well, I guess it works. I mean, what will end up happening likely is Google Frog will come in around here, but then they could come around the back. That's the thing. They could jump in over here around the back. And the slashers do help a lot. They do they want they do wonders against pyros. But that's assuming that they actually hit the pyros. Or that, that, that the pyros even get close. Because right now the pyros are in a good position to just jump down here, as they're about to do, to just jump down here. And then go over here. And then jump up here if they wanted to, but I don't think they will. Yeah, the pyro jump distance, I think... I think that jump distance is just enough that they can start from here and go over here. But I could be wrong. Google Frog is going to try it, though, realizing the slashers are not something to be messed... What? They're, are they going to do it or not? Google Frog had the right idea there. And they went away from where they should have gone. Yeah, I think they saw that those slashers were there. I mean, they know there's something there. I think they saw they were there, but they didn't take that to heart. Still, there's nothing here. Kane has their commander. Oh, now they got Lotus is coming up. I mean, Kane has radar. Kane knows. Oh, no, they don't! Oh, that was a hard read. Kane actually does not have radar coverage of this, apparently. Really? Yeah, apparently they don't. They actually cannot see what's going on here. That's kind of surprising. That's actually really surprising. I would have 
thought they would have radar coverage. How do they not have radar coverage? That doesn't make any sense. That, that makes no sense whatsoever. Because if they had... I mean, that would explain the Lotus. It's like, oh, they're going to come in here. Although at the same time, that Lotus is a bit more money that could have been spent on frontline forces that no longer is because the Pyros aren't attacking them back. Or are they? Like, like <laughs> Google Frog at this point is just keeping Kane on their toes, making sure Kane doesn't know what's going to happen. Just, just mixing them up. They're just, that's what they're doing right now. It's just mix-up plays. <laughs> Trying to make Kane completely underconfident. Although at this point, the Pyros are in radar range. So now Kane is aware of them. Do these things have jammers on them or something? Nope. But yeah, the the jump range. I think the jump distance from here is fine. They'd run into the into that Lotus, but that would be fine. That would survive. They wouldn't die here. They'd be able to get rid of all the wind generators. Kane's economy would tank as a result of that. Like losing all of these wind generators would be a major blow. Google Fox surprisingly doesn't have much energy, despite building tidal generators early on. And being able to basically build tidal generators here, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, no, it's only tidal on deeper water. This water's too shallow for tidal. And unfortunately, those pyros did not manage to really do anything. Getting hit by levelers before they are... Oh, well, oh, maybe. No, it's not going to happen. The, the Scorcher's going to get in the way, and that pyro will not be able to accomplish any of its life goals. Mostly involving destroying something by burning it. The Jackson, on the other hand, might actually be able to achieve their life goals of poking things to death. They're, they're a simple unit. They just want to push that spear into you. There's no way I can say that. That does not sound terrible. A giant spear, and all they want to do is just jab it into something. And that's what they do, because nothing can kill them that quickly. Unlike Pyros. But at this point, Kane actually, with an economic disadvantage, but starting to make up for it, they did not expand over here, though. Google Frog has. It's a little risky. It's a bit out of the way just because of the way the map is laid out. You can't easily get forces around here. But it's not impossible. And at this point, Google Frog is... Oh, actually, I'm under some threat. Not a huge amount of threat, but under some threat. Yeah, the one thing about basically any of... Okay, leveler. Leveler versus leveler, effectively, with that Riot Cannon Commander. But the thing about this map is that it really does create this this longer early game, which is a bit odd. I found it a bit awkward. Because the early game created by this... Oh, that's just... Bot, oh, terraforming. That's what I'm thinking. That's bot pathable? Since when? Since the terraform happened, that's when. But the thing is, this map, because the way it's laid out, does not allow you to build up relatively quickly. Which is very different. That is not how Zero K is usually played. Like, we're seven minutes into the game, and neither, and Google Frog's just now at 30, sort of, with Reclaim. That is unusually slow. Going for planes, though. Yeah, going primarily for planes. Are they assuming Kane's gonna go air? They got Swift. They have Swift built up, which doesn't necessarily say air. It just means scouting. It either means they want to scout or they want to hit stuff from the air easily. Because I mean, Swiss can just scout out what's going on and they can hit the ground, so it's not a big deal. Ah, and the moderators, as usual. But yeah, so Google Frog right now, I think, is in a relatively strong position. I'm not entirely sure, though. Ah, oh, whoops. Not entirely sure how strong of a position they are in. They mostly have these units here. Like, 2400 metal worth of military units up front. And Kane's almost all Ravagers. Kane getting that counter air plant. No air defense, though. These Swifts... Actually, this would go down if it wanted to. It'd take out these metal... These... Not metal extractors. That would take too long. Take out the wind generators! Take out the windmills! That would be really good. Kane realizing, okay, I can't do anything and just throw in the towel. Wow, that was surprising. I guess that's why Kane didn't want me to cast this game. But anyway, that was a demonstration of Isle of Grief. How 
Yeah, it seems to take a while to set up. I find that unusual. Oh! Okay, Blue Templar pointing out that this is this was in fact part of StarCraft 2's map roster. It was part of the newbie map roster. I don't remember the name of it. Although I thought the newbie map roster was the same as the normal map roster. They just had destructible rocks in different places so you couldn't get rushed from all sides. I think it had a destructible rock here and maybe another one here or something like that. I don't remember exactly. I didn't really play the newbie stuff much because, well, I'd been playing Brood War for years. So, that... That was that game. So, another game between... Once again, well, Golda and Kane. Kane actually requested this one. So we'll do that. It will be on Titan Duel. That'll be up in just a moment. Stay tuned.